Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to talk to you about how to optimize your single PC experience playing both games and streaming at the same time. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One just straight through the Windows Task Manager and the second using a program called Process Lasso. Uh, the second will allow you to essentially automate this process every single time you load into Windows but I'd like to show you what it's essentially doing and how you can do that without using this software. So first thing you're going to have to do is bring up the task manager. Make sure that you have the programs that you want to affect open as well. Otherwise, this won't work. I am using Windows 10 and this is a very similar process to as far as I know, previous versions of Windows where you will just right click and the option will be here. Whereas in Windows 10, we have to go into the details. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting the CPU affinity. And what that means is we're going to force and limit each of these pieces of software to specific CPU cores. So right click on that and we go to details. And this brings up the details of all the programs that are open on your PC currently. We right click here then and go to set affinity. And as you can see, Mine is already set to uh, only use the second and third core on my CPU. The five and the seven are the hyper-threaded cores related to these, so they come in pairs. What I have done is unchecked the first and second core and the hyper-threaded cores so that that will be used for running any of the games. The difference is that if you don't have that program, you have to do this every single time you open up the software. So every time you open OBS or XSplit or any of the other things, including the games, you will have to do this if you do it through the task manager. You may wish to do that so you know that it's effectively working, um, but also you know where to go and see what's happening as well by going through this process. And you can kind of see what it's doing. And what we have here is the program Process Lasso by Bitsum. I am not sponsored or endorsed by them. I found this through my own research. Uh, big shout out goes to Ferret Bomb, who is a Twitch partner. So you'll see a link on the screen right now to his channel. Please go check him out. He's a very smart, very helpful man that will help that helped me figure this out. And also from the gave me the stepping stones to find this program that automates the process for me. So big shout out to him. So once you've downloaded this program uh, and installed it, you'll see that it looks an awful lot like this. Uh, you have the graph. It tells you how much of the system resources are being used, how much RAM, how much of the CPU, all those things. Now this looks a little daunting and don't worry too much about any of this all we want to do is go to this tab here of active processes and it just filters out the things that we are actively using so we have process lasso obs uh the bootstrap which i believe is uplay and i have assassin's creed syndicate open just because uh ubisoft games tend to be very cpu heavy so this was kind of a good demonstration of that and what we have here is essentially the same process we select what we want to effect we right click we go to cpu affinity we go always and you can see here they're already pre-checked but you want to go to select cpu affinity now this works on anything up to 63 or technically 64 cores from 0 to 63 but what we could do here is because we go through the always option it means that every time we load windows if you have the program set to boot on startup Every time it loads Windows for these programs and every time we open them, it will automatically assign them to the cores on the CPU that we have specified. And just remember that if you have an i5, uh, it will be the one, two, three, four cores. But with an i7, it will be uh, core one, core one's hyperthread, core two, core two's hyperthread. So these are per. So just remember that if you ever go from an i5 to an i7, that it will no longer be the same. Then in Assassin's Creed, you can see here that I've essentially got it set to core uh, one and two. 
So now we can see in this graph, we can see in the CPU usage here, the two programs are being that are running right now. I do have Assassin's Creed open in the background. I'm not doing anything. I'm just on the menu. But these two calls are dedicated to running that game, while these two calls are dedicated to OBS. And I've seen these while playing get up there and get to about 100%, hover around 90 to 100%. That is because the calls are fully engaged. With these calls, while under load with streaming, gets around 50 to 60%. Um, that is playing the game on high or very high, as I also have a GTX 1070 and able to run it very, very smoothly while streaming 60 frames a second at the same time. I, I've been using this now for about a week and it's been great. I've had minimal issue um, other than the, you know, the usual caveats that come with a single PC setup of tabbing out and back and forth and all that good stuff. Uh, one thing I would recommend is running your games in windowed borderless mode. Just found that that would help with the laggy preview in OBS specifically. I don't know if that happens on XSplit as well. But uh, it shouldn't affect the stream. It will just kind of allow you to monitor your stream better. Um, but beyond that, that's kind of it. That's kind of all you need to do with this. And this is one way that you can kind of optimize your PC without sacrificing too much of your experience of the game by lowering a lot of the settings and dropping those down or having to restrict your streaming ability to lower resolutions, lower bit rates and lower frame rates. Um, thank you very much for checking out the video. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Uh, you can reach me on Twitter at camcorderkid and uh, see you in the next one.